and I have a little tip for Destiny Discover today. This is something that I always make sure I think about as my kids go to Destiny Discover every day, either to look for books or ebooks or resources that we might have in our library. But one thing that I also love to do in Destiny Discover is make sure I customize the homepage with things that our kids might like to look at or special events that we're having, special things that we might wanna send our kids to for like a choice board, or maybe we're having an event, anything that we might have. And it's great too, like for winter breaks or for summer reading, because we know then that our kids can not only get to the content that they need within our library, but also in this section over here on the right hand side, you'll see that I have a choice board and even a message and even something that is hyperlinked like our Van Meter Library Google Classroom, they can click on that to always know that they can get there to the resources that they need. So let me show you how I do this. Up here, when you go to this little more button and you go down to admin, that will then take you to your discover admin. And you can do a lot of different things in here, but under display options and feature content, that's the screen that I'm in right now, I can change different things on my homepage layout. And so to get that choice board in there, this is over here in that upper right hand corner. And I have welcome to our library, but you can make that message anything you want. And you just click on this pencil and type in what you want it to say, and then always click on save. And for the choice board, I click on this other pencil and you can see that I can add a lot of different things in my, your content box. And so I just take a picture of the choice board and I make sure that I have published that and so that it is available online for my kids to view and to use. And I put that in the top and then I have my message underneath. I even have that little hyperlink here with our Google Classroom. And then once you get your image in, if you just highlight that with your cursor and click on that little button there with the link, then you can enter what you have copied from that published link in your choice board. And I do all my choice boards in Google Slides, and so it makes it really easy to have that published link. But whatever you're linking it to, just link it to that and always click on Save. Go down to the bottom and click OK, and then make sure that you scroll down and you click on Save. And then now when your kids go to your homepage, they will see this and when they click on it, it will take them right into that choice board that you want to share. And so every month I make sure that our new ones are there and as you can see, everything is up and running for them to go. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and check out my blog post at thelibraryvoice.com.